Integral of secant square x divided by secant x plus tan x whole to the power of 9 by 2. Integral of secant square x divided by secant x plus tan x to the power of 9 by 2. Since we have secant x plus tan x with a power 9 by 2, let us take that as our variable for substitution. So, we will write down let secant x plus tan x equals to t. When we differentiate, we will get secant x derivative is secant x tan x plus tan x derivative is secant square x. Now, dx equals to dt or can we say that dx equals to dt divided by secant x into secant x plus tan x. Now, let us go to the given problem and try to convert that into t. So, we will write down integral of secant square x will remain as it is dx is equal to dt divided by secant x into secant x plus tan x and we already have in the denominator secant x plus tan x whole to the power of 9 by 2. Now, one secant x will cancel. So, in the numerator we will have secant x dt divided by secant x plus tan x whole to the power of 11 by 2. This is equals to integral of secant x dt divided by secant x plus tan x is t. So, we have t to the power of 11 by 2. Now, the problem I ha we have is how to write secant x in terms of t. For that, we will leverage the identity that secant square x minus tan square x equals to 1. So, if secant x plus tan x equals to t, then secant x minus tan x will be equals to 1 by t because the product of them should be equal to 1. When you combine them, add them, you will get 2 secant x equals to t plus 1 by t or secant x equals to half into t square plus 1 divided by t. Now, this we are going to use here and try to simplify this. So, we can write it as integral of secant x which is equals to half t square plus 1 by t multiply with t power 11 by 2 dt. Now, let us separate them. We will have half integral t square by t power 13 by 2 dt plus 1 by 2 integral of 1 by t power 13 by 2 dt. This will be equal to half integral 2 minus 13 by 2 that is t power minus 9 by 2 dt plus half integral t power minus 13 by 2 dt. Now, we can apply the formula integral of x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. That will be equals to half t power minus 9 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 9 by 2 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 into t power minus 13 by 2 plus 1 divided by minus 13 by 2 plus 1 plus c which is equals to half into in denominator we have minus 7 by 2 so it will become minus 2 by 7 t power minus 7 by 2 plus half into 
minus 13 by 2 plus 1 is minus 11 by 2. So, we have into minus 2 by 11 t power minus 11 by 2 plus c. In the last step, we will write down again t equals to secant x plus tan x that is equals to minus 1 by 7 secant x plus tan x whole to the power of minus 7 by 2 minus 1 by 11 secant x plus tan x whole to the power of minus 11 by 2 plus c. Let us have a look at this problem. We have been given to ask to find out the integral of secant x secant square x divided by secant secant x plus tan x whole to the power of tan by 2. What we did? We took secant x plus tan x equals to t. When we differentiate, we get secant x tan x plus secant square x is dt or dx equals to dt by secant x into secant x plus tan x. We substituted the values and we got secant x dt by t power 11 by 2. This secant x we have to write in terms of t. For that we use it the identity that secant x plus tan x is t then secant x minus tan x is 1 by t because secant square x minus tan square x is 1. From that we are able to understand what is secant x that we substituted in terms of t. Then after that we simplified this. We just applied the formula integral of x power n equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c and finally we got minus 1 by 7 secant x plus tan x whole to the power of minus 7 by 2 minus 1 by 11 secant x plus tan x whole to the power of minus 11 by 2 plus c.